So hello, my name is Sebastian Bourget. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Sandbox. I'm really excited to show you a demo of our pre-alpha uh, game maker tool of Sandbox. So when I, after launching this uh, game maker, when you arrive on this main menu, you have several options available. You can create a new world from an existing template like city or nature, or you create one from scratch. Let's start with the city demo. It's loading, so it's going to use a pre-made city uh, in a one by one land with already placed elements, characters, entities, etc. As you can see here, so I'm unzooming a little bit and I'm going to rotate around so you can see the city. I'm currently in the edit mode. There's also play mode that we'll check afterward. The left, top left button here is the main menu where I can access some options and I can see all the controls in the game in both build mode and play mode. I can have access to all the entities placed in the scene and I can search for some of them if I'd like. It will automatically direct me to the corresponding entity. So this is a great shortcut to edit and I can save my change here. I can also play with camera, like rotate it like this, or just rotate like this. I have four main buttons here. The first one is the terrain, so I can edit, I can place blocks, uh, search for them at the top. Blocks do not have any specific behavior, they are just decorative at the moment. I can use different uh, tools, whether just placing or changing the size of width, height, and depth, and even the shape. Let's start with a normal brush first, and place here some simple dirt block. So I can click one by one, I can right click to remove, I can drag to place many at once. So this is already quite convenient and really fast to create efficiently. The second menu is called Asset, where I have access to all the different assets imported from my profile on the Sandbox dashboard. Those assets that come with different pre-made behaviors like NPC, uh, they can be just decoration, some of them avatar, predator, uh, prey as well. I can put this squirrel here, uh, moving platform and a few other things like some grass around here. I can use a transform tool, which will automatically select the last asset I placed. But if I click on another one here, and with the transform tool, I can use it to rotate in different axes, change the parameters of physics, and do a few more fun things. And finally, the fourth menu is the logic editor, where I can click on any asset I added to my scene and change the different parameter that comes with the default behavior associated with it. Or if I'm not happy with, let's say, the behavior, I can just assign one among all the different available. So I can tell this bike to behave like a prey, a predator, a moving platform. If it behaves like a moving platform, it will start moving into one specific direction and to allow it to well, move in the right direction, I will rotate it. If I'm not happy and I made a mistake, I can cancel any time by doing undo and redo actions here. All right. So now I'm going to switch to play mode. I'm by default an avatar and we put in place a third person view. So I'm this girl called Lisa and I can see already the scene. I can walk by inside my camera, I can run, I can jump, and I can explore the world like this. As you can see, worlds are pretty big, so it takes time to walk from one corner to another corner, and that leaves quite interesting possibilities in terms of gameplay and level design. There's also the sky, birds are moving automatically, now let's get back to edit mode. Let's say I want to, that I select Lisa. I don't want Lisa to be 
an avatar anymore. So I'll change her logic here and I will remove her behavior. I want a, this Quirrell here to be the avatar. So instead of a prey, so I'm going to change here the behavior and I'll try again. And now look, I'm controlling the Quirrell. I can run, I can jump again. And so I can really decide which character the player will be able to control in my game. And it's going to load in a whole different uh, scenery. So this is another example of world. I'm going to rotate a little bit around. It's more nature inspired. As you can see, it's running everything really fast and smooth. Let's switch to play. This part element. You can see the predator. You can see birds. The water here, etc. And then I can edit this world just as I want. But for the interest of the demo, I'll just load another example of word that's been created uh, by one of our uh, top creators that's been playing around with the build. You'll see it's pretty amazing. So here, for example, this pyramid world. What I find really amazing is how within just a couple of hours he's able to build this kind of words with, which combines different aesthetics, um, blocks, but also uh, voxels. You have the NPC moving around. Soon we will add more features where you can interact with a different NPC. The depth of view is really large, so normally you can see the whole world uh, with your character. We are simulating uh, water flowing, so that's something coming soon in uh, the game maker. And various visual effects. Alright, pretty cool. One last word for the demo. Here is another example of game loop. I find this one quite interesting because the shape of uh, this land has been modified. So it's not just a square, but it became an hexagon. So as you can see here, there's been quite some time and effort being put to make sure that both the land shape is an hexagon, but also inside there's every every smaller hexagon has actually some interesting scenery uh, like a building like this park with benches this bridge with water this natural park with deers etc all right that's pretty much it for this demo thank you i hope you'll have a lot of fun trying out the tool Feel free to ask us if you encounter any issue or specific question and happy creating. Thank you.